What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Wingstop Poppy back to another video. In today's video, we have another sneaker unboxing. Now this is a pair of shoes. I'm gonna show you guys the box to tease a little bit. This is a pair of shoes that I've been looking at purchasing for about two years now. I know these are super popular on Instagram and no one's gonna believe me when I tell you guys that I was thinking about buying these a few years ago, but it is true. I was thinking about buying these a couple years ago and I just never pulled the trigger for whatever reason. But then I saw this colorway I'm about to show off to you guys and I was like, all right, it's time for me to finally try these. But as you can see, we got a Solomon box right here. So we're gonna be unboxing the Solomon XT6s today. I'm gonna give you guys my overall thoughts and opinions on the shoe. Before we get into today's video, as always, please hit like, subscribe, try and hit a thousand followers by the end of the year or subscribers, I should say. That really mean a lot to me if you like shoe videos, fashion videos, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And also follow me on Instagram down below to see how I style all my sneakers and outfits. As always, I do want to mention the box. Obviously, as you guys can see, not too much of a box, just a regular cardboard shoe box. Has a couple nice colors on it and it's majority black. Our sizing label reads XT6 and the colorway is going to be black, deep teal, biking red. And also this is the Solomon Advanced. Now, I'm not an expert on Solomons, so I'm not sure what the advance means. To be honest, I apologize. If there's any experts watching this video, uh, feel free to let me know what that means down below. But with that box out of the way, let's get into these shoes. And here they are, the Solomon XT6 in this green, green and red colorway. Kind of like a Christmas watermelon vibe, if you want to think of it, like any themes. Also... This colorway reminds me of the Bricks and Wood New Balance 5740s that dropped earlier this year. When I saw this colorway, I was like, man, this colorway is awesome. It's even better in person. Hopefully the camera really brings it out because this teal is so nice, especially how they added this mint midsole or this mint midsection here in the midsole is super dope. And also this red brick bottom is absolutely amazing. Really just love the way they did this colorway. And that's the first thing I wanted to mention with Solomon. If you go back and look at all their like colorways that they've done on the XT6 and the XT4 specifically, they do some crazy colorways. And honestly, Solomon and Yeezy probably have the best colorways in the game. Just like the way they put these colors together. And they also put colors together if you like just imagine it in your head and then have like the shoe in front of you, you would be like, how is this gonna pair together? But once they put it on the shoe, it just works really well. And yeah, they have a really unique color palette that they use. Solomon really goes above and beyond when it comes to their colorways. But anyways, that's the first thing I wanted to touch on. Now I did, like I mentioned, this is an outdoorsy shoe. I believe this is weatherproof. It's not full waterproof by the way. So if you're looking for a full waterproof like sneaker, wouldn't recommend this shoe, but it is water resistant. You have a teal mesh going through this upper. You do have a, pla a black plastic midsole running throughout the shoe. The toe box is very hard, by the way, as you can hear, I'm hitting it and it is pretty durable. Like I said, this is made for hiking. So if you hit like rocks or anything along the trail, this is gonna be able to withstand that. I will say I did wear these yesterday and I already scuffed them up a little bit, as you can see on this right shoe right here. So this toe box is gonna get scuffed a lot, but like I said, these are outdoor shoe. They're made to be worn, made to be scuffed up. So that's not really a big concern for me, but I figured I would point that out. The outsole, you got this hiking outsole or this trail outsole, I should say, because like I said, this is an outdoor shoe. So we're gonna have that trail outsole. I did wear these yesterday. They are pretty comfortable. I wore them around, like I took like a quick little walk in them outside. And they are pretty comfortable. They do need to be broken in, in my opinion, because they were a little more stiff than like some other shoes that like I've been wearing, like New Balances, or especially Adidas Ultra Boost are my like workout, like walking sneakers. And they're definitely not as soft as those, obviously, but they're still comfortable. But definitely, I feel like they're gonna get a lot more comfortable once I do eventually break them in. Now, speaking of sizing, which is gonna be the, a big question for a lot of people, I went true to size, which is a 10 and a half, and I feel these fit me pretty perfect. However, they are very narrow in this midfoot area. So if you do have wide feet, you might wanna go up half a size. However, they do run a little long. So you got, kinda gotta be careful because if you go 
like a full size up they might be too long so just keep that in mind but if you do have wide feet these might just not be for you because like i said these are super narrow i mean you could probably see on the camera how narrow they are in the midfoot and it is very tight but it is a nice like feel and that's exactly what they were going for like they wanted a true snug fit because obviously you don't want your foot to be moving around in them when you're doing like outdoor activities such as like trail running or whatnot now speaking of the lacing system you do have a speed lacing system right here so to tighten this up i'm not expert at this but there it goes you just tighten it like that and then obviously i could pull it up to loosen it so the speed lacing system is very dope anyways besides the speed lacing system i mentioned the upper is all mesh but you do have an ortholite midsole right here and like I mentioned, the comfort is there, but you definitely, I feel like you, you're going to have to break these in to get the maximized comfort. But the Ortholite insole is always nice. Ortholite insole is the same insole that comes in like New Balance 990s. Yeezy 500s have an Ortholite insole. And yeah, those are the two shoes that come to mind that have an Ortholite insole. But definitely a nice touch. And like I said, it, it's going to add a little bit of comfort to the shoe. And overall, honestly, I just feel like these are some really dope shoes. They look really good. Another thing I like about these is that they go with a lot of different pairs of pants. You can wear them with joggers, you can wear them with cargos, you can wear them with jeans, hiking pants, obviously, um, corduroy pants, you name it. You could probably wear these with a lot of different pairs of pants. And that's why I feel like the XT6 is becoming so popular, just because, like I said, it's something different. And I, I feel like these look really sick. And the colorway, like the colorway really sold me, like I mentioned earlier in the video. And yeah, I just... I don't know why, maybe I'm giving into the Instagram hype a little bit, but honestly, a really cool shoe. And I know I live in Chicago and I honestly don't see too many people wearing these. Like I've never personally think I've seen a pair on someone that like wasn't working at like a boutique before. So like on the street, I, I haven't really seen these at all. So it is like kind of refreshing to have something that like not everyone has or is into. Just like trying out other brands, because it brings me back to the point that I mentioned in like one of my ASICs videos is that like there's a huge like misconception with sneakers that like oh it's Nike, Adidas and even like New Balance now or nothing but there's a lot of good brands out there who are making really cool stuff really high quality material so it's kind of good to expand your horizons I know these are selling out in certain colorways but I will link some down below if you want to go check them out. Like I said, if you're looking for like a hiking, fall, winter shoe, definitely recommend these. So yeah, I feel like these are super dope. Can't wait to wear them. If you, like I said, if you want to see how I style them, go follow me on the gram. Tell oh, your thoughts and opinions on the Solomon XT6, this colorway, or anything in general. Or let me know if you have a pair of Solomons and let me know how you like them. But anyways, it is your boy, Wingstop Poppy. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.